back, so we've made our broth and strained it. We have four cups right here. We're going to use that to make our risotto. Tastes delicious, by the way. So we're going to take the multi-cooker and we're going to use the rice function. So we just hit rice and start. And that's a preset six minute pressure cook for white rice. Works great for risotto as well. So I'm going to pour some olive oil into here because the pan's heating up. We're going to throw in half an onion, saute that for a little bit, and then the only other things I have are a cup and a half of rice and some parmesan that I've grated for that we're going to add after. So I like to take when I'm sauteing in here, a hot pad and hold this and just stir it. That stops the insert from moving around. So I'm just going to saute this for a couple minutes. So it starts sizzling, we're going to add our rice and toast that, just like you do risotto on the stove top. There it goes. I remember. Oh, that's good. Now we're going to add our cup and a half of rice. I'm going to stir that around a little bit, toast that up. See what it looks like inside. You want that rice to look a little more opaque than it does right now. See that kind of chalkiness to it? You want to sort of toast that out. Now just take just a few minutes. The trick with doing risotto in the pressure cooker is you don't want to add a lot of vegetables or anything because those will get kind of mushy. So just use a really good flavorful broth and then you can add stuff afterwards like sauteed mushrooms and peas, things like that. Just stir that in there. And again, lock our lid in place. Set it to pressure in about, about six to eight minutes. We'll have a reserve ready to serve. Thank you. Stopped cooking. It's now beeping. It'll beep it. There you go. So that tells you it's ready. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it off. And then we're going to do the quick release method. So you want to stand back. And then you flip this switch that's back here from pressure to steam. There you go. Once that's done, take the lid off. And that smells wonderful. There's a safety feature, so you won't be able to take the lid off until all the pressure is released. And you'll hear the pin drop in a sec, maybe. There you go. You always want to take the lid off away from you just to watch the steam. So there's the risotto. If you're used to doing risotto on the stovetop, don't worry about all that broth sitting on top. That's going to stir right in and it will absorb. So there's that. We're going to add the Parmesan. Stir that in and just let it sit for a couple of minutes to absorb the rest of that. Cool off a little bit because it's extremely hot right now. And then serve. Enjoy your risotto.